Something sound way too perfect to be real, right? And when it comes to Donut Lab's miracle solid-state battery, the evidence is screaming that something's seriously off. Yeah, we're talking about what might be the biggest battery con of the decade. And trust me, you need to hear this before you believe the hype. Over the last week, Donut Lab literally shook the entire energy world with their groundbreaking solid-state battery announcement. No joke, we've never witnessed a battery launch create this much buzz or controversy. They're claiming twice the power of regular lithium batteries, charging your car fully in just 5 minutes, and get this, lasting over 100 years with 100,000 charging cycles. But wait, there's more. They say it's way cheaper than lithium-ion because it skips all those rare expensive materials, and they're calling it the planet's first mass-produced solid-state battery. Sounds like we found the holy grail of batteries, doesn't it? But here's where things get really sketchy. Battery scientists worldwide are literally saying these numbers are flat-out impossible. At CES, the biggest tech show on Earth, Donut Lab didn't show a working battery. Nope, just empty battery shells sitting on a table. And the CEO's statements? Experts are calling them wildly exaggerated. So are we watching the most overhyped battery fraud in history unfold right before our eyes? Let's dig into the truth together because this story gets crazier by the minute. First up, let's smash into the energy density claim, which is honestly the biggest warning sign in this entire mess. Donut Lab boldly states their solid-state battery packs double the energy density of today's lithium-ion batteries, hitting 400 watt-hours per kilogram while somehow also delivering lightning-fast charging, incredible lifespan, and dirt-cheap costs. Now hold on. Let's really examine what the CEO actually said. With Donut Battery, we set a new baseline, for 100 watt-hours per kilogram. Here's the reality check. Even the absolute best lithium-ion batteries today, including those powering premium electric vehicles, only manage somewhere between 175 to 250 watt-hours per kilogram. Yet Donut Lab casually claims a solid-state battery with more than double that energy density a level almost nobody in the world has actually achieved. Think about this. Giants like Toyota, QuantumScape, Samsung, and CATL, literally the biggest battery maker on the planet, have invested tens or hundreds of billions of dollars into solid-state research. And guess what? They're still wrestling with fundamental problems like stability, production costs, and manufacturing at scale. So how does a tiny company like Donut Lab supposedly crack all these challenges and jump straight to mass production? That should make anyone's alarm bells go off. What makes this even shadier is that Donut Lab hasn't explained anything about how they reached this energy density, what cell design they're using, or which materials are involved. That's red flag number one, folks. In battery science, energy density always involves sacrifices. Boost the density and you typically lose something else. Shorter life, lower safety, higher costs, dependency on rare materials, or insanely complex manufacturing. But Donut Lab claims they've beaten all the rules. High density, super fast charging, 100,000 cycles, low price, and easy production. This is exactly where scientists start saying, yeah, that's impossible. And it's not just the experts doubting this. Check out the comments under Donut Lab's own YouTube videos. The comment sections are flooded with people calling out the CEO's claims as suspicious. Clearly, Donut Lab hasn't released any real technical proof to support their energy density numbers. No charge-discharge data, no independent lab reports, and zero test results from credible third parties. All we've gotten are marketing numbers and big promises from the CEO. Then came CES where Donut Lab should have proven everything once and for all. But at CES, the world's most important consumer tech showcase, there was no actual battery displayed. No functioning cells, no charging demonstrations, no equipment measuring energy density. Just an empty battery casing. This detail is absolutely massive. In the battery world, if you genuinely have breakthrough tech, you show a working prototype, even if it's tiny. Showing only an empty shell suggests either the battery doesn't exist in complete form yet, or it doesn't perform anywhere near what they claim. Oh, and here's another inconsistency. The energy density shown at CS was 350 watt-hours per kilogram, not the 400 they originally promised. 
That mismatch just highlights how nothing adds up between their public claims and actual evidence. The energy density numbers alone should make everyone question Donut Lab's legitimacy. When a small startup claims to shatter decades-old limits without providing matching technical proof, being skeptical isn't mean, it's smart. And trust me, this is only the beginning. What comes next will blow your mind even more. Before we go further, if you're finding this investigation valuable, smash that subscribe button for Tech Drive and hit the bell icon so you never miss our deep dives into tech truth. We're here to cut through the hype and bring you real facts. Now let's continue exposing this story. Yeah, the technical specs aren't the only problem here. Donut Lab itself, along with the CEO's background, has become a serious red flag for industry watchers. Donut Lab is incredibly young, registered in Estonia, with reportedly just nine employees as of late last year. According to available info, only one team member has actual battery-related technical experience. The rest come from sales, marketing, startups, or project management backgrounds. That's the complete opposite of how legitimate battery companies operate. Real battery manufacturers employ hundreds or thousands of material scientists, chemists, and electrochemistry engineers who spend years improving performance by tiny percentages. So the obvious question is, how could such a small team possibly deliver the biggest battery breakthrough in human history? This gets even more suspicious when you look at CEO Marco Lametti's background. He doesn't come from batteries, materials science, or electrochemistry at all. Instead, his career spans religious-themed rap music, media projects, software startups, and tech ventures known for making massive claims without proof. Now, being a non-technical entrepreneur isn't automatically bad. Plenty of successful founders lack deep technical knowledge. The real problem is this. Lametti has a history of making extraordinary claims without independent verification. Just months before announcing this solid-state battery, Lemeni publicly claimed another company of his created the world's first true artificial superintelligence, supposedly a fully autonomous AI system more powerful than every existing AI model combined. That claim came with no actual product, no scientific papers, and no validation from the global AI research community. After brief media attention, the project basically disappeared. When you connect these dots, a clear pattern emerges world-changing claims without matching technical evidence. The next warning sign comes from Donut Lab's complete lack of technological transparency. To this day, they haven't clearly confirmed whether their product is even a true solid-state battery or possibly something else entirely, like a supercapacitor. Even their media reps refuse to answer this basic question, hiding behind competitive advantage excuses. In the battery industry, protecting trade secrets is normal but refusing to define what your device actually is? That's highly unusual. A serious company can easily say this is a solid-state battery without revealing formulas or internal structure. This vagueness has led many experts to suspect Donut Lab might be playing definition games. If the device is actually a supercapacitor, then claims about ultra-fast charging and extremely long cycle life would make perfect sense. But at the same time, claims about ultra-high energy density and hundreds of miles of range would completely fall apart. Another suspicious detail is Donut Lab's first commercial partner choice. Instead of partnering with major automakers, global battery manufacturers, or large industrial companies capable of serious technical verification, Donut Lab picked a tiny electric motorcycle company with minimal revenue as their showcase partner. Specifically, they integrated their solid-state battery into the Verge TS Ultra Electric Motorcycle. This was promoted as a revolutionary breakthrough in electric vehicle performance. With claimed 400 watt-hours per kilogram energy density, the new battery supposedly enables up to 370 miles of range on one charge, crushing current industry standards. Even more impressive is the ultra-fast charging capability allegedly recharging to 100% in just 5 minutes, basically matching gas station refueling times. It definitely sounds exciting, but we're not buying it. This completely contradicts basic business logic. If you truly possessed world-changing battery technology, you wouldn't showcase it with a tiny niche manufacturer. 
you'd have major corporations fighting to sign contracts. Finally, and perhaps most alarming, there's zero independent verification. No neutral laboratories, no respected universities, and no recognized scientific institutions have validated Donut Lab's claims. In science, genuinely revolutionary breakthroughs always get confirmed by third parties because that's the only path to real credibility and acceptance. The turning point that pushed doubts about Donut Lab from personal skepticism into serious industry-level concern came from CATL's reaction, the world's largest battery manufacturer. Rico Ulissi, who runs CATL's operations outside China, publicly called Donut Lab's battery technology clearly false on LinkedIn, a harsh and unusually direct accusation. This statement carries massive weight especially from a company that dominates global EV batteries with enormous research resources and vast real-world data. In the battery industry, senior executives rarely publicly attack new technology unless they see obvious scientific impossibilities. It's also crucial to note that CATL has zero reason to attack a small unknown startup unless the claims are genuinely misleading the market. Actually, if Donut Lab truly had a scalable solid-state battery with double the energy density of conventional lithium cells, CATL would be first in line to investigate, possibly even moving to acquire the technology or form immediate partnerships. The fact that a CATL executive issued an outright denial strongly suggests they don't believe the technology exists, as Donut Lab promotes it. Alongside CATL's response, another investigation thread emerged. The possibility that this battery technology's true origin might not be Donut Lab at all. Multiple experts and independent investigators noticed the technology Donut Lab presents closely resembles earlier research from another Finnish company called Nordic Nano. Nordic Nano has operated for years in nanomaterials and energy storage fields, maintaining academic connections with several Finnish universities. This raised suspicions that Donut Lab might not be the original technology developer but rather a commercial front or primarily a marketing vehicle for technology that's still incomplete. Business registration documents filed in Estonia add more complications. These records show a company affiliated with Donut Lab recently signed technology transfer or technical cooperation agreements with Nordic Nano. However, specific agreement terms haven't been disclosed, and it remains unclear who actually owns the intellectual property rights to this controversial battery technology. Most striking is the coordinated silence from both Donut Lab and Nordic Nano. When asked directly about the technology's nature, whether it's truly solid state or a supercapacitor, whether any patents exist, and which standards measured the claimed energy density, Nordic Nano's media representatives declined answering nearly all questions. Donut Lab, meanwhile, has provided no additional technical data, hasn't invited independent verification and offer no detailed response to criticism from CATL or other experts. In the tech world, silence can sometimes be strategic. But in science and engineering, especially when claiming world-changing discoveries, silence is a major red flag. Truly breakthrough technologies get backed by patents, test data, and third-party validation, not by dodging hard questions. It gets even more suspicious when Donut Lab repeatedly insists their technology is ready for mass production, yet fails to point to any factory, production line, manufacturing partner, or concrete evidence that such production actually exists. If the technology were truly mature, releasing this information would be the fastest way for Donut Lab to silence doubts. But that hasn't happened. Let's wrap up this wild story by stepping back from Donut Lab momentarily and addressing a much bigger question. Why have solid-state batteries, despite being discussed for over a decade, still failed reaching the real world? And if the technology were as simple as Donut Lab suggests, why haven't giants like Toyota, Samsung, or CATL brought solid-state batteries into mass production? The honest answer is this. Solid-state batteries are incredibly difficult to create incredibly difficult to stabilize, and even harder to manufacture at industrial scale. The first major challenge involves the solid electrolyte, the heart of any solid-state battery. Unlike liquid electrolytes and lithium-ion cells, solid electrolytes must simultaneously meet three seemingly impossible requirements. High lithium-ion conductivity, chemical stability, 
and enough mechanical flexibility to maintain perfect electrode contact. In practice, most solid electrolyte materials today fail at least one requirement. They either conduct ions poorly, are too brittle, or react aggressively with lithium metal. Even microscopic cracks at microstructural levels can degrade performance or cause total cell failure. The second problem is interface layers between materials. In lithium-ion batteries, liquid electrolyte naturally flows and fills every gap, ensuring stable electrochemical contact. In solid-state batteries, everything is solid. That means even slight deviations during pressing, coating, or assembly can spike interfacial resistance, leading to power loss, slower charging, or abnormal heat generation. Next comes the mass production challenge. Solid-state batteries can't be manufactured by simply upgrading existing lithium-ion production lines. They require entirely new processes, new materials, new equipment, and far stricter quality control standards. That translates into massive upfront investment and extremely high risk. Even Toyota, researching solid-state batteries for over a decade, has repeatedly delayed commercialization timelines. Tesla is another telling example. Despite being a battery innovation leader, Tesla has never claimed having production-ready solid-state batteries. Instead, they've focused on refining conventional lithium-ion technology with 4,680 cells, LFB chemistry, and structural pack optimization. This highlights an important reality. Even companies most willing to take big risks don't yet view solid-state batteries as viable short-term options. That's precisely why skepticism is completely reasonable when a small company claims solving all these challenges simultaneously. Materials, durability, ultra-fast charging, low costs, and scalable mass production. Until clear independently verified technical evidence surfaces, any claims of perfect solid-state batteries should be viewed with level-headed caution and healthy skepticism. The bottom line? Don't believe the hype until real proof appears. If you found this investigation eye-opening, subscribe to Tech Drive right now and drop your thoughts in the comments below. Are you convinced Donut Lab is legit, or does this smell like a massive scam to you? Let's discuss it. See you in the next video where we continue uncovering tech truth.